Hello everybody and welcome to today's video and new series, How To Destiny 2 A Beginner's Guide. Today we'll be tackling the subject of new lights. So you've just downloaded Destiny 2 for the first time, or you finally decided to come back after a well deserved break. You are greeted with a choose a character screen, in which you see three symbols, Titan, Hunter, and Warlock. The Titans are big on making their defense their offense, which kind of makes them like the tank class. Hunters, quick and agile, always ready to pounce on their prey, making them kind of like the controller slash speedster class. Warlocks, elegant, knowledgeable, and they use quote unquote space magic. They're sort of the healer uh, class more or less. I'll go more into details about each class and the respectable subclasses in another video. But for now, just pick whichever appeals to you and we'll get started on your journey. I'm gonna choose Titan since on my main account I am a Titan main, but fret not I play all three characters since you can have one of each. Next up we have a cutscene explaining the origins of Destiny all the way back from Destiny 1. Skip along to the important parts, the revival of your characters. Here in front of you is your ghost, Little Light, Nolanbot. Heck, he can even be your Dinklebot if you still remember the old Destiny 1 days. That wizard came from the moon. So this little AI thingy filled with light and space magic is created by none other than the Traveler, a giant looking golf ball in the sky which you'll later see in the tower. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So I'm going to be skipping through the story real quick because obviously I don't want spoilers for people that are playing this game for the first time. So we're going to quickly just go through the character inventory. You have your consumable items here, your modifications, which are like your transmats for your ships, your engrams, which is where you would collect your purples, uh, wrapped items, which are things you buy from the Eververse store with bright dust, or actually silver in this case. You have your settings with your controller, your video, your sound, as well as your gameplay. Going into the other side of the character now, we actually have the Triumphs, which are currently locked. Um, they're going to be unknown for a little bit. You have to do something in the tower with a quest line, but they will unlock eventually. You have the Legacy Triumphs and Seals as well. You have your Metals, your Exotic Catalysts, your Lore, and your stats. All your stat trackers are saved in there. You have your collection, which shows you uh, your exotics that you've collected, whether it be uh, weapons or ornaments. You have your weapons, you have your armor, then you have your flare, which is your emblems, your shaders, uh, your modifications. You have your equipment, your ghosts, your sparrow, your ships, and your mods. You also have your recently discovered, so if you want to check those and see what you recently got, it'll show up up there, and you've got some badges, for example, we have Trials of Osiris here, and it shows you all of the things you require to get this badge, which sometimes are required for seals. We don't have any clan affiliations at the moment on this account, so we are not in a clan. And yeah, that's really quickly. We're going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys the directory, but you can open it via your ghost, like this, or you can open your inventory and then press the same button, and it'll quick go it'll hot swap to there you have your map over here really really quickly this is how you you navigate it this is your destinations this is where you would see all the other planets um, as well as your crucible your vanguards your gambits all like the other activities would be through here for traveling this is on cosmodrome this is the earth map um, as you can see it's 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 a little big you have your quest here which is a guardian rises that's what we're doing currently um, you have your new light stuff, which is exactly that. You have your beyond light. That's an expansion if you buy it. Your seasonal stuff, which is season of the loss, which is season 15. Your playlist activities, your exotic quest lines, and anything that was from the past. So any legacy content would be in there. This is your Eververse store. Um, stuff you can buy with bright dust is down here. Silver is all around it, as you can see in the weekly offerings. You have your seasonal offerings as well, which also requires silver. 
Um, most of these items do go up for grab in the Bright Dust section, what we'll see soon. These are the Archive section, anything that from previous season, this is the Bright Dust section. Weekly, it changes. As you can see, one day, 14 hours, it's going to rotate. We're going to get new stuff. And these are the expansions, if you would want to buy them. Um, we're going to go back in and look at the other side now, which you have your clan section. If you're in a clan, this would show your clan mates, your friends, or anybody that's nearby. You have your platform players, so since I'm on PlayStation, you have your fire team invites. Over here is where you would search somebody by their bungee name if you would want to add them for crossplay. You have their bungee friend requests, the clan invites, and finally your social preferences, whether you want your fire team privacy, uh, your fire team invites, and your bungee friend requests. Here we have the seasonal page, so Season of the Lost, which is Season 15, is what we're currently in. We have a seasonal pass, which is kind of like a battle pass. In other games, you get a lot of good stuff. Um, legendary engrams, exotics, uh, XP boosts, prisms, enhancement cores, uh, emotes, ornaments, all that fun jazz. And yeah, we're going to keep going forward, and I'm going to show you guys basically how to use the movements and it's going to be skipped along so i'll see you guys then okay so we're going to be talking about the movement and this is based on playstation and and the titan so you jump you get your glide you punch with r1 l1 would be your grenade holding circle would be your barricade your super would be l1 and r1 but we don't have it shooting is r2 aiming down is l2 l2 and r2 to aim down and shoot Triangle is to swap to your energy weapon, holding triangle to go to your heavy weapon. You then fire with R2. I miss the servitor because somebody snipes him. I look at him. Disappointment. We reload with square. Emotes would be the directional D-pad, which would be down, left, right, and upwards. Moving on, we take out our ghost with the directional pad, holding triangle to go to orbit. Square to summon our sparrow. L1 to go left, R1 to go right, L2 to boost forward. If you do the emotes while on the sparrow, you give symbols, signals like this with your hand. I get shot by the server. Big disappointment, holding out the ghost and going up and down to see the tracked quest and your bounties. Holding the d-pad again to go into your HUD with the destinations, maps, quests, store, season, and roster. Here is your nearby people in the map. There is the destinations again. Um, over here we have the striker subclass. You can see there's three different trees with different abilities and different builds. So be very pay attention when you choose one. You have three types of grenades, flashbang, pulse, and lightning. You have two kinds of barricades for the titan, the rally and the towering. Three types of jumps as well. And then you also have three different subclasses in the light ability, which is solar and void. You have your kinetic weapons, your energy weapons. Which, and then your power weapons, as well as your ghosts, your seasonal artifact, your clan banners, your marks, which is different for each class, your legs, your chest piece, your gauntlets, and your helmet. You have some bright dust, silver, which is legendary shards, and then glimmer. Your power, which is based off of your total uh, power from your guns and your armor. Your mobility, which increases your movement speed. Your resilience, which increases your armor. Uh, your recovery, which increases the health regain. Uh, your discipline, which is your cooldown on your grenades. Your intellect, which is your cooldown on your super. And then your strength, which is your cooldown on your melees. You have your emblem here. Your sparrows, which I'm rearing an exotic because I have Beyond Light and I was able to get the exotic one. I have another ship, but that would be your starter ship, the green one right there. You have your emotes, which if you inspect with triangle, you can choose different ones. Your finishers, which at the moment we have this one for the titan. If you favorite uh, a finisher and you have multiple ones, it'll play the ones that are favorited. And then you have your appearance customization here, which is where you would do your transmogging and you would unlock uh, certain ornaments to use on your armor and shaders. You can also lock and unlock weapons if you don't want to accidentally dismantle one. So as you can see here, our collection has gotten bigger since last time, so you can also mark as all seen if you don't want to have to go into an area and get them all. So right here, you have your ghost out, and you're going to open up your directory while your ghost is out. You're going to see your map. Anytime you see this little arrow down here, this is the fast travel symbol. 
Up above is our quest. We want to add a waypoint or remove a waypoint if you want to track it so you can see where to go. This little symbol here on your map are golden chests. They give loot, a uh, glimmer, as well as uh, gear. Over here we have the Lost Sector waypoint. So anytime you see this, this is a Lost Sector. It's a little area with a boss and also has loot. So we fast travel to Shan Ha. And we're going to be grabbing some bounties. So once you talk to Sean Ha or any other vendors, you can acquire bounties. Which this little tutorial here, they're telling you about quest tracking. If you go to your quest tab, uh, you can look at your quests. Over here we have a Guardian Rises, which is the new light one. And then you have a Blast from Pass, which is for the Chaperone Shotgun. We've got our bounties. We've got some super uh, melee killing combatants. They're telling us to, to track it, so you can track with X on PlayStation. And then if you come over here to your ghosts, you can now see we have our quests and our bounties are tracked just by opening our ghosts and going up and down. So let's transition into the last segment of today's video, which is what you can do as a new light player. So before I talk about what you can do as a new light player, I actually forgot once you go to the tower, which is actually Destiny 2's hub world, you can visit the Postmaster and any loot that you lose will actually go straight to the Postmaster. So fret not if you lose any consumable items, any purple engrams, blue engrams, power rhyme engrams, umbral engrams, anything of the sorts, exotic engrams, they all come here to the Postmaster so that you don't lose a thing. Um, and on top of that guys, if you like the way you look but you don't want to wear a helmet in those hub worlds, you can actually go to your settings and turn your helmet off in hub worlds. Um, but I just thought I'd let you guys know you can put, turn it on if you don't want people to see what your face looks like. Like Shax, always wearing the helmet, never take it off. Um, so real quick, what content can a new light player do? Well, to start off in the tower here, you have the Prophecy Dungeon. Uh, this is a hard activity. I recommend three players, unless you're really, really good at the game and you're looking to solo it. Um, but it's a 1100 activity. Don't be fooled. The power level scales to your level. Then you've got the... All the planets are accessible for any Loon Light player. You just can't do some of the story. You've got the Earth, the Cosmodrome, and EDZ. You've got Nessus, Europa, the Moon, the Tangled Shore, the Dreaming City. Moving along, we have the Crucible, which has Control, Survival, Rumble, Elimination, and Showdown this week. Um, and there's also Trials of Osiris, which is the end content PvP-wise, uh, the competitive, very, very sweaty. You need to have the expansion for this. This is a most recent change in Season 15. You can't do it without it. You need to also be 1280. Uh, then we have Vanguard Strikes, uh, which believe it or not, I didn't know Nightfalls required the, an expansion. You actually need Forsaken to do Nightfalls, which I don't know why that's a thing. They should just have it to where it's free to play for Nightfalls. I don't, I didn't actually didn't know you needed a, a DLC for that, so that was a surprise for me. Uh, Gambit, as well as private matches, are free for all new players. Um, and there is one raid available for every player, which is the Vault of Glass. It is a six-man activity, no no matchmaking, 1,300 power, which is some of the hardest activity other than Grandmaster Nightfalls. Um, you're going to need a lot of communication for these, but I really recommend doing them. They're fun. And then last but not least, we have the timeline over here, which is accessible. If you want to if you want to know about your Destiny 2, they tell you what happened. The Red War, Curse of Osiris with the Warmind, uh, Forsaken with its season as well as Shadow Keep with all four of its seasons. Um, and then you have the Awake the Traveler Awakening finally and being healed, and then Beyond Light with its four seasons, and What's to Come, which is the 30th anniversary pack, as well as with the Witch Queen with its four seasons. But thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this is gonna be the very first of many how to Destiny 2 the beginner's guide. Um, I'm thinking of doing maybe weapons next or maybe subclasses and different characters. Um, I have a lot of, Death of Destiny 2 things planned. I really want to help out the new players in the community. I feel like everybody needs a guiding light and I want to be that light for all the new players and anybody joining. If you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, um, leave a like and maybe comment down below what you need help with. And if you do want immediate help, you can always one, join the discord. Two, follow me on Twitter at Boomand Gaming. And as always, you can always come check me out live at twitch.tv slash Gaming, where I help some of you guys out on the daily. I play with viewers, so please come by, check me out. And as always, guys, I'm Boom 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 Man. I'm out.
and I'll see you guys later. Peace.